now that we have our topography, um, let's work on getting our model into here and um, then going into Lumion. So if this were a very complex model, I might recommend linking in your Revit file. As it's not, I'm just going to bring my model right into here. Um, so first thing though, I just want to get rid of all these curves. Um, so I'm going to turn all my curves back on a second and then type in select curve and just delete. Um, and anything I don't want, like I don't want this overall topography anymore, so I can delete that. Um, and then I think we're pretty good on there. I'm going to hit type in purge. Um, and I want to get rid of any layers I no longer need. Hit enter. Um, and I'm going to do a save as. I should have done that before I deleted everything. Whoops. So I'm going to do a save as um, site map for um, Lumion and save. Okay. So I can actually just copy paste right into here. Let's make sure I'm sort of near my origin. Lumion likes things to be near the origin. So that's near the origin, which is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open my other file. So let me find where I saved that one. Ooh, I don't really know. Let's see, Micah, hopefully, maybe week six. Nope, maybe week five. Um, I want that car, new car, maybe the car for export. Let's try that. Okay, so here's my car for export. Great. Um, I'm going to select it. Let me just make sure I don't have anything on that I don't want on. Okay, so select it. Uh, Control C. And then I'm going to simply paste it in here. Control V. Um, before we move anything, I want to group it so I don't lose it. Group. Okay. Um, it should already be at the correct scale. I'm going to turn project off. I'm just going to disable it so I can just put it where I want to put it. And I'm thinking I want to come, I think I want it going like up this hill. So maybe I'll have it around, maybe turning the corner. So I'll put it over here. I'm going to rotate it. So you can see it's kind of making that turn around. Let's see what that looks like when I come down in perspective. Um, I can adjust how high or low it is with these. So I'm looking for when the wheel is leaving the is leaving the road. It's going to have to rotate a little bit um, up. So it doesn't look like it's floating. Um, and I can do, it's probably better for me to rotate it like in a view that I can see what I'm doing. I don't know if that's gonna be possible here though. ZS to have it center around us. So I could kind of have it turning this curve. Um, and then I have the inner harbor behind me. Is that a good view? Or do I want something more like up here looking down at it, like from the hill, watching it turn the corner? Then I have to actually Photoshop in those buildings. But maybe that's a good thing because that's something we can do. Um, so maybe I'll get a view like this and have it coming straight up the street. And then we'll have to get in some of that background and that might be a good um, thing to practice. So I come back over here, rotate it further. And here's where I'm gonna warm up kind of check. How am I doing? Do I need to rotate it more? 
I definitely need to rotate it more. So I'm going to move it up until that back wheel looks like it's just barely hitting. Okay, and then I can do a rotate 3D um, rotation axis I need to set up. So I can have the rotation axis be along this back wheel this way, and I want it to come. Oh, I did that too soon. So I'm going to say I'm going from like that point and I want it to come up onto the road. Not enough. Do it some more. The whole thing needs to come up. I'm saying going from the bottom of this. And I want it to come pretty, let's disable this a second so I can just do what I'm doing. Right there. A little bit more. I'm sure there's a more scientific way to do this. I could use some guidelines and be a little bit more careful with what I'm doing. Um, I am guesstimating it, that's what I'm doing. Okay, that looks pretty close. It looks like it also needs to rotate a little bit this way because there's a counter slope. So let's think about what that means. What axis does it need to rotate on? It kind of needs to rotate like along this axis. So I'm going to do another rotate 3D. Uh, I want to rotate this thing. And the rotation axis I'm going to use is going to be... Um, I'll find two points in the wheel. I just want something that's like straight on this. So let's go from here to, uh, I want not perpendicular. Okay. And so now I want to bring this wheel from where it is just until it's a little bit higher. A little bit more. Okay, so it's still a tiny bit under, and now the back wheel's a tiny bit over. I think it's close enough for what we're doing right now. And I think, like, you know, the wheels could be, if it's like a crazy turning thing, the wheels could get a little bit off. So I'm going to come here. Let's say we're, we could be standing here and looking down the road. Let's say we're standing. I want it closer, though, than that. So... Because I kind of want to see like these front buildings, but I still want to see that. I just got it set up in that place. Oh man. I guess the other option is like I could have maybe this is a better view that it's like just starting to approach the hill and we have all this like all these big buildings coming. It's got to get up it. Okay, so let's do this view. I think that's a better view anyway. So. Um, a couple of things I can do here. I can change my, um, do, 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 do. where is this under again? Set camera to object, tell the camera to the synchronized view, set view. So I can go to, pers um, this is perspective already. So I think I got a viewport properties. Um, so over here, it gives me some information about my camera lens, and it tells me the lens length. I can change this. Um, so let's say I were to change it to 70. You'll notice that I'm getting a little bit of a different perspective. I change it to like 30, or like 35 is pretty standard. That's going to give me a different perspective. So I actually kind of like that zoomed in perspective. Let me try like 65. So I'll have a little bit more play 
um, like that. Okay, and I'm just trying to get it looking right where I want it. Kind of looking up that hill, looking super intimidating. Oh my god, there's the hill. Okay, so I'm getting kind of a low angle shot up on that hill. Um, so great, so I'm going to save this view. So I'm going to come over here and check set view, name views, and I'm going to call this render view one. And hit OK. Make sure you save your view. This is really important, really important for you to save your view. All right. Um, next thing, I didn't set different materials for everything in here yet. So I'm going to go to my layers, um, and everything should pretty much be. So, is there any materials for these yet, or nothing? Oh, I haven't set anything yet. Okay. Um, so. I want to simplify this a little bit just for this tutorial. I think I'm going to make the car like almost all the same material, maybe like two different materials. Um, yeah. So I'm going to over here in buildings, I'm going to make a material. And right now it doesn't really matter what the material is because I'm going to change it. Um, but I'll make this new material. Um, I'm just going to make everything paint maybe. And it's going to be paint red. Okay. Um, my water surface, you're not even going to see the water in this rendering. Um, I'll put it anyway, just for kicks and giggles. Um, so, oh, what's more types? I'm going to change it anyway. So again, I'm just going to make it paint, make it blue. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't even make it blue. Okay. Uh, road surface, um, paint, okay, park surface, this is going to be like glass or some grass or something, but for now it's paint, everything's just paint to keep it simple because it doesn't really matter. The sand, I'm really not going to see it, um, so Okay, but I'm just gonna keep going. So change the color, okay. Um, and I don't want it to be plaster. Well, I guess that's fine. I'm just giving it a color so that I know that I've changed it because then I can see over here that it's like something different. Okay, new material. And this is going to be concrete, okay. New topo, so it's kind of everything else in here that can probably just be gray. This gets a little bit tedious, and I apologize for that. Um, contours, I don't need, and I'm actually surprised they're still showing in here because I thought that would have purged out. I'll just hide it. Um, layer zero, I don't think I need. Um, defaults, oh, something is on default. Okay, so that looks like it is the axle. So I'm going to change that to, I think there's a metal material, hit OK. Um, and to keep this simple, I'm not going to have so many different materials for my um, machine. I might try to simplify a little bit. So maybe I'll make like, I'll make a few. So use new material, paint. And this just keeps going. Sorry, it'll get there eventually. Okay, the plant can be all green. Um, the flower maybe we'll keep to metal. The seat maybe can be, um, I don't know. I guess as long as it's calling it plaster too, that's okay. Um, caps, I'm just going to make metal. Axle is going to be metal. Wheel is going to be um, probably black. And 
longest grade can be metal. Okay, so now that I have all those in, I'm going to save it. All right, next thing is I'm going, I have this Lumion Live Sync on here. Um, if you haven't installed that, make sure you install that first. It's on their website. There's also a link to it on Canvas. So I'm going to hit Start Live Sync. And it's going to ask me, um, would you like to start Lumion now? I'm going to hit yes. Morning, I'm using this on my laptop. It's not as fast as the desktops in your school. I don't know how long this is going to take. So hopefully it won't be too, too slow. Um, you can always play this at triple speed if you need to, to make it go quick enough. It's thinking and thinking. Okay, so let's see how this is going. So I'm going to, I'm still learning the software, as you know, so I'm still going to have some issues with trying to figure out how I'm going. Ah, okay. So W goes forward, Z, I thought went backwards, A is left, D is right, Q is up, E is down, S is backwards. Okay, so it's W forwards, S backwards, A left, D right, Q up. So let's go up. And let's see what's happening over here. Um, I can use my right mouse button to kind of spin around, see where I am. Okay, so here I am. Um, and there is my whole little city. So. It goes really slow. Oh my goodness, I want to go over here. That's terrible. Can I go faster than that? I'm not sure yet. Okay. So I know my little piece is right there. And I want to zoom into it so badly, and it's taking so freaking long. It's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, so there's my piece. Um, I should be able to match my camera angle between the two. So I think if I open this and run at the same time, um, there we go. So if I have them both open, do you see how it immediately goes to that view? That is such a lifesaver because it means that um, when I move in here, it's going to move in there and I'm a lot better at moving right now. It's less confusing to me. If you're a gamer, you might feel the opposite. But the other great thing it does is if I make a line drawing from here, I can overlay it with a render in here. So I'm going to go back to here, go to set view, go back to my render view one, and now I have it in there. Okay, so with my render view one, I want to put in some more realistic materials in here. Let me see if I can save this overall. Um, oh, does the Lumion trial version let me save? Unclear. Maybe not. That's annoying of it, really. Okay, trial version it is. So, really? I really can't save? Okay, that's going to make me sad if it's really true. Um, but I can change my imported materials. So if I select it and go to materials, I can click on a material. So here I'm going to click on my grass and I can pick a different material. So I'm going to go to landscape, go to material library. And that made it some kind of grass, but it didn't let me pick it. That was weird. Um, 
Okay, so indoor, outdoor, Lumion normal needed. I don't know what that means. So they go to various, okay, so there's grass here, so I'm gonna use that. I think mine's being weird because it's the trial version. Yours hopefully isn't gonna do this to you and you'll have more options than I have. Um, it was working a little bit better in class. But okay, so I have that one in. Next, I'm going to select this one. This one should be some kind of concrete. Um, so I'm gonna select that and then let's change it to an outdoor material of concrete. And I'm just gonna pick the regular concrete. Okay, then this one should be asphalt. So I'm gonna select that, um, go to, and you can make your own material as well. We went over that in class last time. Um, so we'll go to outdoor, asphalt, and I'm gonna click that one because that's the one that it likes the best. Okay, um, these ones are all gonna have a brick. So I have this brick. Let's see, does that actually look like we're going to get up close? Beautiful, it does. Okay. This actually looks like concrete up close. Okay, I'm going to go back to Ryan to get my view right on this, but for now, I just want to see what's going on with what I'm changing. So now, if I select this one, um, here I'll make a material just to make sure we know how to do that. So I can go to um, class, advanced class, color, landscape, light map, waterfall, water, standard. So I'm going to standard. Um, and here I can, um, I could choose a color map. So this would mean that I'm actually bringing in a JPEG that is, looks like what I want that to look like. Um, actually, why don't I do that for this side instead? So for this one, I just want to um, pick a color. So I'm going to go to colorization. I can pick a color over here. And maybe just like a dark gray color, maybe more black than that. I don't need a lot of gloss on it. I don't need a lot of reflectivity. Uh, bring that down even darker. And okay, great. Um, for this one, let's do the standard material again. But this time, let's bring in an, um, an image for my color map. Um, and I think I have pictures. Let's see. I think I have pictures of my mom dog, mom's dog Lisa on here. Um, so let's say we want to use or my mom's dog is a little bit. Um, Pudgy. So we want to use her for that. And so now she is. Whoa. So she's some kind of weird paint job on that. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I'm not seeing, I think I'm mostly seeing the carpet, is why I'm like, what is going on here? So if I select this, I can change the scale. So now you see I have like lots of little Lisa's on there and you see like her repeating. And actually what's cool is she's kind of embossed in there. So she's like with her American flag very embossed. I don't think I want her. Okay, so this would be if she were huge. This is if she's tiny. I want it to be like big enough that it's almost legible. That feels pretty good, right? Right around there. I don't think anybody will really get it. Um, and then colorization. So if I take that all the way off, then she'll be the real color she is. I kind of liked her in some fun colors though. So let's make her like, um, let's bring the colorization up and maybe she can be like blue, green. What do we like, gold? Okay, it's still like her in purple. I'm feeling the purple. Okay, um, and I want her glossy. Glossy, nice and glossy, and um, a little bit more relief. So, and then she sticks out more or less, more reflectivity. Uh, yeah, reflectivity. Okay. So that was standard materials. Great. Um, what else do we have to color in here? So, and I'm going to click on the plant. Um, I'm just going to do just a basic color, maybe a little more green. Okay. Um, that's a metal material. I want to use one of their metals though. So I'll go to metal and pick their metal. They have aluminum. Um, and that should have changed all the metals I have in there. If it didn't, 
Um, I might have found a metal one and two, so I can always select that. Yeah, so that one didn't go, so I'm going to put a new one on there, metal. Okay, this one, indoor, I think they have leather. Leather, and maybe I'll do, I'll do this, but I want to, like, change it a little bit because I don't love tan leather. So um, I'm going to change the color and colorize it just to be, like, a white. So that's not tacky at all, you know, whatever. Uh, or maybe more of a gray. Somewhere in there. Okay. And what else? That's all done. You can see the metal's already reflecting the sky over there, which is kind of cool. Um, this is a paint material. So I'm going to change that to metal as well. Why not make everything metal? Ooh, it can be ceiling mesh. Huh. What does that do? Yeah, I don't think I like that. Regular metal. Okay, and then this needs a material, um, and let's make that something weird. So what do we have? Marble, wood, curtains, plaster. Um, hmm, I kind of want, I want feathers. Is that not a thing? What if they under fabric? Just the carpet, wood. The wood's kind of weird. Wood flooring, I'm not feeling that. Any other options under metal? What if this gets the meshy stuff? That could be okay. What's under curtains? Actually, that might be kind of nice. Like, it's... I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Like, it's kind of got some, um, some holes in it. Maybe I'll make some nice shadows. Okay. So I'm going to call it there on the materials. You could keep going forever to make really cool materials, but that's good enough. Okay, um, next thing, I want to get back to that view to see what I can see. So I'm going to go back to here, and it's going to bring me back to that view. Perfect. Um, so it's really closer than that. It really looks like that. So I probably want to add some trees in here. And I don't know how many trees are in the real thing, but let's just take a look. So if I go to, um, I thought I already had Google Maps open. Maybe not. So Maps. So if I come down, let's actually look at where I'm looking. I'm right here, so I'm from a little person over here. And this is not where I am. How did I do that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I am over here. That'll do it. Okay. I am here. I am facing this way. So do I see trees? Oh, there's a wall that is not in my model. Okay, we can Photoshop that in later. Oh, it turns out those are not brick. Those are something else interesting. And yeah, there's a lot of information here that's a little bit different than our thing, but it's okay. Um, hmm. So there's a couple trees. I can fake those in. There's a couple of cars on the street, although those might be gone in the day to kinetic race. There's some trees along here I can add in. So I'm just gonna add in a few things. For your rendering, I'd expect you to spend a little bit more time um, tripping this out. So like going back, fixing and putting in the wall, maybe adding in some grass along here, adding in the trees along there, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can check the regular Lumia tutorials for that. But for right now, um, I'm actually gonna cheat and scroll in here because I'm better at finding my way in here. Okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to Close out my material library. Um, and I'm going to go to objects. I can add some, I'm not going to do the fine detail nature because that takes a long time. Um, so I'm going to add cars. Nah. What do I have under outdoor? Let's see. Outdoor. Furniture, building, lighting, signs. Oh, they have signs. Not available on trial. Okay, it stinks to be on the trial because there's like no fun things you get to put in. Cool, whatever. What if I go to landscape? Um, I can put in grass. I can change the height. Put in oceans in. What about it? Where are my trees? Nature. Okay, so let's just add in a couple of trees. So, leafless trees, grass, plants, flowers. I don't see where my ornamental trees are. 
So there were a couple of ornamentals. Maybe like some crepe myrtles. Those are pretty common in Baltimore. So I can add some crepe myrtles along here. And then um, there were some larger trees kind of back in this area. I don't think we have acacia or olive. There might be still some elms alive, you never know. A lot of the elms died out because um, they overplanted them in the US. So I'm gonna go back to set B, render V1. Let's see what I can see here. Uh, so I'm seeing a couple of those coming up. Great. Um, and then I could also add in people here. I could add in other stuff here. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to stop it there and I'm going to get a render out. So I want to make sure that I'm still in this view. So I'm going to do this one more time. Set view. Render view one. Okay. And then once I have that, I'm going to go to my photo slide um, and this is going to um, this is where I can actually set my render settings um, so custom style I like to start with one of the ones they already have just because there's like stuff already in there it's a little bit easier um, let's do realistic and then um, I can change things in here. So for this real sky, I could go and check. This is um, created by an HDRI map. So basically all of your lighting is coming out of here. Um, so I can click on there and I can pick a different one. So maybe I want more of a clear day. I'm going to click that one, slightly more clear day. And then I have to click inside the um, window to update. So if I click inside here, then it'll update with that sky in there. Okay, sharpen. Um, I'm going to bring up the intensity of my sharpen. Click inside the window to update. That's what it looks like when it's sharpened. Okay. Exposure. Um, I think the exposure looks pretty okay. The grass looks terrible, though. Like, it doesn't really look like it's using all of the materials. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. So let's say I made it way darker. I could click inside here and that would update it. I really want it brighter, maybe in here. I'm wondering if those didn't actually change from the original materials um, that were in, right? This is all back to the original colors. I'm a little bit worried that when I did this, um, I got rid of all of the materials I imported in, which would be pretty stinky. Okay, so hmm, that stinks. So I think what we have to do, I think I have to actually set this as a camera view ahead of time and then go back to there. I apologize. I didn't realize that initially. Okay, so learning moment. You're going to click on here to get back to here. But then once you have done that, um, you want to stop camera synchronization and stop live sync. So now it's in here, but it's not going to change, I believe. Let's double check that. If I go back to build mode, yeah, it's still here. Okay. But if I go to my camera, um, let's save this before I move anything else. So I'm going to save store camera. I can always edit it later, but at least it won't move it um, because I want that view. So let's go back over here. You can skip over this part. I'm just going to go through and change back all my materials, which is going to make me really sad, but it's what needs to happen. Um, the custom materials, did it save any of them? No, of course not. Why would it do that? That would be so nice of it. Okay, so that was my road. So I'm just going through and changing this. If I click back again. These we actually realized were really concrete, so I can make them concrete, even though it's kind of a little bit sad looking. It might be nicer if they weren't concrete, but they are concrete. Um, why are you not changing to 2D graphs? Thank you. Okay, and now, oh, I'm so sad my Lisa material is gone. That one was so fun. That one will remake. The other ones will be lazier. Um, 
Who was that one? I just need to bring her skill down. And this was going to be green. Make it blue instead, why not? Um, let me change that to be the same blue thing, why not? Bottom of this. And we're going with linoleum, right? Okay, and then we have a bunch of stuff that's metal. If I can ever find it. This is metal. Okay, and those I'm going to leave alone. Okay, so now if I go click my check mark, if I go back to my photo, I should still have my view if I click on here, and that's the original view. Um, and it's a little bit bland, honestly. Um, you can do a better job than I did changing your materials, getting things to look good. Um, and honestly, I prefer to do most of my work in Photoshop, so this is just the beginning. Okay, so once this is in here, um, I'll update it. I can go back. Color correction. I don't really love the color correction they're doing. It's like way too, I don't like super warm stuff. So I'm going to bring that down. Be more like that. One more vibrance. Make sure you click inside the window or it won't update. Um, camera correction. Get a little brighter. Okay. Um, What's hyperlight? Don't know. Sure, why not? Okay. And reflection. Okay. So now I have this stuff in here. Great. So if I, I'm going to click on this again. I'm going to take my focal length, and it was, um, what was my focal length in here? Okay, it's not set up, so it's not going to reverse. Whew. Okay, so if I, I just want to double check and try to remember what that was. If I go to viewpoint properties, um, my lens length was 65. Is that the same thing with focal length? Let's see, if I change this to 65, oh, that's going to make it way too close. It shouldn't be that close. That's like closer than this one is. Well, it might not be. No, that's about right. Okay. Um, so I have this. It's a little bit dull, but that's okay. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and render it. So once I have all these things, and if I wanna add more effects, I can go over here. I can add in um, photo match. Uh, what's a good one to actually wait? Let me go back. Add effect. Uh, you can click show all, and then it'll show you all the different things it's able to do. So, for example, let's say I wanted to add in um, volumetric sunlight, um, I could add that in. And I need to click inside to preview so I know what it really looks like. That's kind of a nice effect. Um, so I'm going to go back and leave that on. Um, okay. And anything else I want to add in? Um, whale painting. Ooh, blueprint, beach, artistic. Um, I don't know. You can play around with this, see if there's anything awesome you want to add. Okay. Once I'm happy with it, um, I can go my camera here. So it's going to store that view. 
and then I can go to render photo. Um, here I choose the output I want. I'm going to do a print, so I'm going to click that. And here, um, and actually, what are these extra ones? Depth map, normal map, reflected lighting map, alpha material map. Um, so it actually is helpful to have some of these when you're in Photoshop. So let's um, get, and we might not use all of them, but let's just get all of them so that we can play with them later. So I'm going to click on all those and then hit print. And then go to, save it somewhere you can find it. Like a uh, reason. Save. It's going to take a minute. So it's doing samples to try to figure out what color things are. Um, in the old days, renders used to take like an hour. This should be quite a bit quicker, which is nice. But it still takes some time because it's basically calculating all the reflections. Um, now what this is it's creating a depth map. So it's going to help it understand like how far away things are. So back here it's really dark, so it's farther away, stuff that's closer is lighter. It's figuring out all the samples for that. This is the normal map, so that's helping it describe um, how round things are. So you'll notice like how the normals in here around the tree, there's so many different directions that it changes really rapidly, where something like the building, the whole side of the building has one same normal. Specular reflections. So this is looking at um, reflections. So only my shiny things are coming out super shiny right now. Lighting, this is describing where the most light is hitting. I mostly just have sun, so that's why the um, ground is so bright because the sun's shining directly at that. Sky alpha, so the sky alpha is nice because if I wanna replace the sky with a different sky, it makes it really easy for me to select that as a map in Photoshop. And then material ID, this just tells me like, oh, all this stuff is the same material as that stuff. Um, so that's another easy way for me to single stuff out if I want to change material or whatever. So I can click, okay, great. Um, I'm gonna pause the video here and then start on to the next one.